We're stunning. Oh, she looks you look beautiful great. and look stunning. Wonderful. Yes. Uh, Morris Chestnut plays Miami's top pathologist in the new Fox series Rosewood, and Lorraine Toussaint plays his mother. Tell me you didn't just send me straight to voicemail for the fourth time in the last hour. Mom, I was in the middle of my morning rounds. I don't care if you're in the middle of World War III. Obviously, your mother needs to speak to you. Uh-oh. What did you do now, bro? Don't chime in. I left a message for you, too. Good morning, Mrs. D. Hello, my sweetheart. Now, don't distract me. What did I do? He used to want home his family dinner and church again. Thank you. Just calm your body. Nobody did anything. I need your help. Oh, Lorraine, it is so good to see you. I really enjoyed this episode. Now, the last time we talked to you was for Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. And of course, I, we'll get to Rosewood in just a second. But oh, okay. <laughs> we're going <laughs> we're, 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 to get to that in a second. Just, you are officially dead. You don't think V, who is so evil, could come back? Are you coming back or not? You know, at the moment, I am not back. V is dead. I have put her to sleep. Why now, did you raise your eyebrow when well, you said because that? Well, having played V and now experienced V, it's hard to even think of her as being really dead. But she's <laughs> dead in the life of probably Orange is the New Black. But I hope she doesn't sort of show up someplace else. Yes. Mm. V needs to stay dead, dead, don't you think? Yeah. But I you, mean, you were so great to be, and you got to go to the Emmys this weekend, I know, right? It was and see wonderful. your gals win. Yeah. And you won Critics' Choice Award for I did Best Supporting Actress in the Drama Series based on her character. Um, okay, you said you actually went into the dictionary, looked up to see a, what a clinical psychopath was in order to figure out how to play that role. Yes, and that was half an hour before I started what? shooting. <laughs> Can you believe that? Because I, I didn't know until then that she really was a, a clinical psychopath. And so um, it, I looked it up and, I, and someone who's devoid of conscience and someone who's devoid of um, the the awareness of, of cause and and effect and and so I I just kind of went okay that's kind of interesting let's see what happens and I started pulling strings and flipping switches inside my head and my heart and my being well maybe we all there. have a little bit of V in us yeah I think if we, we really all have a lot of V in yeah. all of us <laughs> so how did you prepare then to play Morris Chestnuts? Mother and very is different. He, is he gorgeous, by the way? I mean, that must be. Is he gorgeous? You know, I play his mother now. <laughs> yeah, I, that's right. I you kind of don't see his gorgeousness anymore. He's handsome. He's but handsome. I do know he is <laughs> not hard on the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I'm a mom myself, and that's a really important part of who and what I am. And so playing a lovely mom, a giving mom, a sweet mom, a generous yeah. mom, a fierce, loving mom. Uh, strong a mom. strong mom yeah. came easily to me because that's kind of who I am in life. For this show, is it? It's all set in Miami. It's kind of got this sexy vibe. Oh, yeah, it's, it's sultry and moist and hot, and <laughs> you know, there's music in the background, and there's you know a lot of salsa and dancing and great food. Yeah, and Morris Chestnut. And <laughs> Morris, he, he is <laughs> so gorgeous, right? Yes, and he's a lovely man. He's just such a generous actor, and, and he's so incredibly good in this part. Yeah, he's I think, like this pathologist, right? But has he's like beyond brilliant about yes. it, and has his own things that he's dealing with. My daughter Samar, who's ten, she calls him the smart guy, because he's a bit of a savant when it comes to being able to perceive what's going on with dead bodies. But it's a, it's a it's a show about life and death because mm -hmm. he does have these issues where he's dying. He's living each day as if it were his last that's, day. That's an interesting, we always say that, right, in life. Where mm -hmm. We always say, let's live today as if it were our last day. Could you really ever do that? That's a, that's a theme in this show that you're constantly kind of tackling. Yeah, it, it really does make you think, what would I do if I knew I had a limited amount of time. How would I live mm -hmm. full out? You know, what would, what, what, are, what's on my wish list? But the other thing about this show is that you also get to see a man who's actually afraid to live mm -hmm. because he's afraid to make commitments. He's afraid to invest in other people and af afraid to invest in love. So there's some really wonderful love stories uh, along the way for him. And since we've seen you, Selma, as well, it was mm -hmm. great to see you in that. Yeah. And you got to meet the woman you portrayed what as well, honor. right? I did. Amelia Boyd. Miss Amelia Boyd. And she just you. passed last month. Absolutely. And yeah. And um, I got to sit and talk with Amelia Boyd. I don't get starstruck, uh -huh. but I sat with this woman who was 103 years old 
And we didn't talk about the movement. We didn't talk about Martin Luther King. We talked about things like cooking <laughs> and planting and what, you know, what advice for children and shoes, you know, painting and art. And we talked about all sorts of just life things because she had such a big being. Yeah. That it wasn't just she wasn't just an activist. Just had that presence. But certainly that's one of the things we'll remember her for. Wow. For sure. Lorraine, Lorraine, so good to see you. Thank you. And Rose will be for more tonight. Yeah, tonight. that's right. Eight o'clock. So Eight. excited. Thank you for coming in. Thank and so you. happy you got to take a picture with Johnny Mathis. Oh, my God, my <laughs> hero. Right? oh good grief. I literally swooned. I love that. Um, okay.